it without that, please? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to, so. Go ahead and say goodbye to it, I'm coming back without it. Did you forget? Forget what? I'm not supposed to have any of those. Yeah, I know. I have two of them. búsqueda de la felicidad puede ser para muchos un pensamiento más que puede lograrse sin presionar el destino, pero se están olvidando de lo mejor de la vida, porque se necesita sufrimiento para conocer la felicidad, ruido para apreciar el silencio de las gotas de lluvia que acompañan el panorama de la vida, y ausencia para valorar la presencia de lo que amamos. Chris Gardner en su libro En búsqueda de la felicidad habla de cómo sobrevivió con su esposa y su hijo. Se narra la historia de cómo Chris vende aparatos médicos que él pensaba que eran una maravilla, pero para los doctores era un gasto innecesario. Man, I got two questions for you. What do you do and how do you do it? <laughs> El libro nos da una descarga de dolor y felicidad a la vez. La ansiedad de un padre preocupado por el futuro de su familia y la sonrisa de un niño que sigue los pasos de su papá, las hojas del libro, talladas con la historia de este hombre, demuestran cómo el sacrificio, paciencia y perseverancia pueden cambiarnos la vida. Dinosaurs. You don't see all these dinosaurs. Look around. Look at all these dinosaurs. You see them? What's going to happen next? The hardest question I had to answer every day was, how did I get here? The answer was even more brutal. The answer was, I drove here. I had something to do with the situations, circumstances, and issues that had become my life. I drove here. But that was very empowering because, well, if I drove here, then I can drive out of here. Will Smith y su hijo fueron quienes dramatizaron la historia de Chris Garner. La película ha tenido tanto éxito proyectando esta historia y tanto el libro han sido uno de los más vendidos a nivel mundial. I think it is because, first of all, let's talk about why I feel happiness with a why in the movie and the book. That why is there to talk about you and your responsibility for your happiness? It's your responsibility, not your husband's, not your employer's, not the government's, your responsibility. And you do not arrive at a place called happiness and the sun is shining and the birds are singing and the rivers are flowing. You do not get there. You to places in your life where you know this is where I'm supposed to be and you feel it. It's not what you've got physically, it's what you feel here and man, I'm ecstatic. People say uh, Costa Rica is the happiest place on the planet. Hoy Chris Garner viaja por el mundo dando charlas sobre cómo encontrar la felicidad y ser emprendedores. Su historia sigue impactando los corazones del mundo. My mother told me every day, son, you can do or be anything you want to do or be. And I believed it every day. And this idea of genetics is spiritual genetics. We all understand genetics. You're going to get your mother's eyes, your father's nose, nothing you can do about it. But the spirit of who you're going to become as a man or a woman, I believe you can choose. 
I saw the light in my mother and in others with whom I did not share a single drop of blood and I embraced it. Para de sol a sol, Hansel Rivera.